What's going on Chicago Fire fans? I'm Rudy Hodgson and welcome back to the MLS Next Pro Report. After a strong start to the 2023 season, the Fire 2 have dropped back-to-back -back games against the defending MLS Next Pro champion Columbus Crew 2 and the Philadelphia Union 2. But the Fire look to get back on track as they take on Atlanta United FC 2 this weekend in Atlanta. So let's do a quick recap of the last two matches as they get ready for Atlanta this weekend. Two weeks ago, Chicago Fire 2 hosted reigning MLS Next Pro champion Columbus Crew 2 after picking up wins in their first two games of the season. As one of the Fire's biggest rivals in MLS play, the Next Pro side went into the match ready to defend home field and pick up where they left off against Toronto FC 2. After a dominating start, the momentum swung when two yellow cards in the first half sent Fire homegrown Javier Casas Jr. out of the match and left Chicago Fire 2 down a man for the second straight game. I would say like the first three games we showed, we showed personality. Now we need to try to find a way to finish games with 11 guys on the field. That's definitely something we need to address. This time the fire wouldn't have a similar result to the week prior. Chicago suffered a devastating blow in the 88th minute when Crew 2 forward Gabron Rayo capitalized on the man advantage and scored the lone goal of the match to lift Columbus over Chicago in their first meeting of the season. We tried to do our jobs the best we can and sometimes it just goes wrong, but you know, I think that it was good effort from the guys. The Fire would look to rebound the following weekend against Philadelphia Union 2 in their third match in a three-game homestand at SeatGeek Stadium. With eight members of the first team starting against the Union, the Fire came out firing on all cylinders on a windy day in Bridgeview. The momentum swung in favor of the Fire, resulting in Amisael Rodriguez causing a turnover and going top shelf with his first goal of the 2023 season. It's always good to get a goal as a nine, you know, that's your job to score goals, so it's very good. It would have been better if I had the result, but Definitely, you know, that's something that I can come in next week confident about. Last Sunday's match also saw the highly anticipated first career start for fire prospect Harold Osorio, who returned to the fire lineup after returning from a minor injury. A product of San Salvador, El Salvador, Osorio was overwhelmed by the amount of support he received following his first career start. Bueno, yo soy muy agradecido con, con todas las personas que, que están pendientes de mí en El Salvador y, y pues eh, siempre voy a estar eh, agradecido con ellos porque son los que siempre están, eh, más que todo mi familia, mis amigos en El Salvador, pues siempre voy a estar muy agradecido con ellos y voy a trabajar para no defraudar. Following a penalty and another late goal against, the Fire would concede back-to-back -back goals in the second half and head into the week with a 2-1 loss against Philadelphia. With Rodriguez's goal, Chicago has tallied six goals this season from six different goal scorers. The team has shown tremendous depth and capability, with the Fire sitting in the top 10 in all of Next Pro in shots on goal and chances created. The Fire look to get back to their winning ways this Saturday night when they take on Atlanta United FC 2 at 6 p.m. Central. You can watch that game absolutely free of charge on MLSNextPro.com. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of the MLS Next Pro Report. We'll see you next time.